What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you saw any of my last few videos, we are still out here on Lake Santitla in the Smoky Mountains and it is not quite as warm as the last few videos. Overnight it dropped down to about 40 something degrees and the wind is just absolutely insane out here right now. So Zeus and I are taking shelter up under the batwing tarp and it's holding off all this onshore wind for us to do this video. It's set up kind of as my workstation right now to make these wooden coasters. I'll probably make a separate video on that to show you guys those, but today is all about the dog. Uh, one of my Patreon supporters, Darlene, wanted me to do a video a little bit about traveling full-time with a dog, so that's what this one's all about. Traveling full-time with your dog is going to be a little bit different for everybody. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background on what we do, we have a 1988 Scamp travel trailer that we custom-built to live off-grid. So we boondock everywhere around the country, and a lot of the times that means there's only small towns around. And avoiding cities was kind of the biggest part of why we left to travel in the first place. So we really never come across stores like PetSmart and Petco, all those big name dog food uh, stores. So what we do is we use Walmarts around the country. You can find them just about anywhere. And they actually do offer some pretty decent dog food. The food that we use for Zeus is a grain free food called Pure Balance. And it's 24 pounds for $35. So he eats that about once a month and that brings our monthly expense of dog food right to about $35. And Zeus reacts really well to it. Uh, in the past, we've had him on a non-grain free food that he seems to get itchy with. Uh, I don't know if he's got some kind of allergy, but we've noticed he does best on grain free food and we wanna give him a quality of life and good food. So we go ahead and give him that grain free pure balance from Walmart and he does really well with it. And we can find those Walmarts everywhere around the country. Now, if you're one of those people who travel from bigger city to bigger city, obviously you can get away with sticking to your PetSmart and Petco food that you already feed your dog. That's great. Uh, but if you do go out to places like this that don't really have PetSmart and Petco around, uh, you're, you're kind of going to be out of luck and you're not going to be able to feed your dog. And that's not good. That's not where we wanted to end up with Zeus. So we did the best that we could and we found that Walmart really is one of the best options. One thing that I have been really curious about is if there's some kind of shipping service for dog food because we can use general delivery at any post office around the country. So if anybody out there watching this knows of a delivery service for dog food that's not insane on shipping prices, leave a comment below the video and uh, let us know what that is. So besides the dog food, another thing to take into consideration when traveling full time with your dog is where your dog's even allowed to go. Uh, so for people like us, we enjoy getting outdoors and hiking and a lot of things like national parks don't allow dogs on the trails. Zeus loves hiking and we'd love to bring him with us, but when we do visit national parks, a lot of the times we have to leave him in the camper. So be sure that if you have a dog and you plan on traveling full time, that wherever you have to leave him in places where he's not allowed to be, that it is comfortable, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Uh, just give him some kind of comfort while he's in the camper alone or whatever you're traveling in. Now Zeus is pretty spoiled. He's got his own twin size bed in the scamp, so he's always pretty comfortable. Ain't that right, buddy? Give me five. No? Okay. Come on, buddy. Another really great thing about being on the road is that, you know, your dog gets to enjoy being in nature and enjoying beautiful places like this. So he's always in boondocking locations. This is actually one of the smaller ones that we've been at. But usually he's on a big old open piece of land that he gets to run around like a wild dog on and he really enjoys that. That brings me to another good point and that's if you are on boondocking locations and just kind of out in nature, keep an eye on your dog because there are wild animals out and about. Uh, there might be bears and, you know, coyotes and things that can attack your dog. So just keep an eye on them. Uh, we have a 50 foot leash that if we are kind of weary about the area, we'll put them on the 50 foot just to keep them in a general area around the campsite. But you just want to keep an eye on them. I mean, if you're spending every single day out there and going about your normal day, you can forget about your dog and he might end up in some trouble and you don't want that to happen. We love seeing him enjoy his freedom and just roaming open land and really enjoying his doggy life, but nobody wants to see their dog get hurt, so keeping an eye on your dog is really, really important. One of the benefits of traveling with your dog is that, especially if you have a big dog like Zeus, he can be a good piece of security around the campsite. People come around the campsite, his ears perk up, he lets out a good mean bark, he'll never hurt a fly, but if he lets out that bark, 
people aren't coming around us and that's a nice little piece of security for us as well. Now on what we call travel days where we're not just set up at a campsite, uh, we do make extra stops just to let him out to pee or stop and give him some water and feed him. So just be sure that you're stopping enough that he's comfortable. Uh, we're lucky enough that Zeus loves car rides. If we mention you want to go for a ride, yeah, he heard that. He'll just jump right up into the car. He can't wait. He'll be waiting at the door before I open it. And uh, so we're really lucky to have him loving car rides at this point. Now, the last thing that I'll mention in this video is that you really should keep up with a regular schedule of flea and tick medicine. If you're living in nature like we do, the fleas and ticks are going to be there. So you don't want them coming back into your living space with your dog so that they end up on you. So if you're thinking of traveling full time with a dog, I hope some of this information helps you. And traveling with a dog makes it so much better. Uh, having Zeus along the way, he lifts our moods in days that it's raining and all gloomy. He's got a hell of a personality, so he lifts us up and shows us love in return for what we do for him. And it really is fulfilling. Just treat it like it's having a baby on the road. Uh, they really do come first, so keep them comfortable and keep them happy and they'll give it back to you in return. So Zeus and I thank you guys for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Ain't that right, buddy?